So the wind just picked up, so hopefully we got some good sound here, but hello, I am Cole, and thank you for joining me as I go on my disc golf journey. Today, we're doing something pretty fun. I got this West Side box. These are the five discs that are in it. So we got the Underworld, we got the Harp, we've got the Anvil, we've got the Gatekeeper, and we've got the Hatchet. Um, we got two understable fairway control drivers, two overstable mid approach diffs, and kind of just a stable approach or stable mid in that gatekeeper. Um, I'm excited to try these out. We're here at uh, Cascade Park. I'm only doing the nine hole shorts, so we'll kind of see how I get through. This isn't ideal for using fairway drivers. This is mainly like a bogey or bus course, but there's a possibility that I whip some of these out in some design throws for them. We'll see how they go, and we'll come back with my thoughts. So we're on hole one. This is actually hole two on the course. Um, I'm gonna try out two of these discs here. So we got that anvil, and we've got the gatekeeper. I normally throw, um, my fugitive here, which I think would be probably more comparable to this anvil. So let's see how this one flies. <clears throat> so that definitely got a little taken by the wind there. Let's try this gatekeeper. I think this is probably a little slower version of the warship, which I throw. Um, let's see how this one does here too. That one looked nice. Um, definitely gonna take that one it's way closer to the basket. That's kind of what I throw here normally, how I do it. Um, but that gatekeeper could, it's starting to feel really nice off the hand. So let's see how we do. So the anvil there was about 20 feet from the basket, uh, slightly uphill. This one has the back here. Let's see how we do though. <laughs> and I'll take that. All right, hole two is really hole 11, but down there, tucked into the bushes. I normally throw, I think a warship here. So probably gonna throw this gatekeeper, but there's kind of some headwind. So let's try this anvil out. I just did not put enough on that anvil. Let's see how this gatekeeper does. Surprisingly, that was pretty bad, but I think it's gonna turn out all right. I might just give this harp a throw. I'm um, used to throwing a harp. So let's give it a try too. Harp was a little short, but I think it probably is about where the anvil is. So for how wonky of a flight this was, this didn't turn out too bad. Um, I'm within putting distance, but Let's see how it goes. The uh, anvil and the harp were pretty close. The harp went a little bit further, but kind of was just more used to it. So let's see if we can make it for uh, probably like a 20 foot, 25 foot putt through these bushes. Whew. Finishing off here. I'll have to take a bogey sometimes. So if you couldn't tell that we're in fall disc golf, I think getting into the woods really showcases this. We're on hole three, which I think is really hole 12. Let's see if this gatekeeper can go on the line. I'll probably try another one, depending on how this goes. Oh, well, it went in the fairway, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go and try, I'm just gonna give this anvil another try, see how it does through here. Not great. So gate, the gatekeeper did get in the center of the fairway, but we're still a little bit out. I would probably start throw my stocky bomb slammer here. I don't have it. And just to try these discs out, I'll just use the harp instead. It's a little bit farther, so I'm probably just gonna put a touch shot on this. <laughs> hey, light it up, should get a par from there. Nice positioning with the harp. Let's see if we can tap this in for a par. <laughs> well, you hate when that happens, but let's see if I can at least get this one to stick. Well, at least it's on camera that it went through the chains. <laughs> All right, so you definitely hate to see that. I've got two bogeys already, but I'm gonna throw the gatekeeper up this, see how it does. I'm also gonna just give this underworld a try. This is uphill, it's pretty short, but with understable, if I put a little bit of power, we're just gonna see how this disc kind of flies since I haven't tossed it yet. 
<laughs> I made it up there enough. I definitely took a weird local route. Don't love that, but let's give this underworld a toss. <clears throat> That actually probably landed about five feet in front of the gatekeeper. Both of those weren't great shots, but I think I have okay placement. Let's see if we can get a bird. So I'm not sure if this is making it on camera, but our gatekeeper's here. The underworld's about five feet over there. Let's see how this putt goes and if I can make it around this tree. <laughs> tree sits. So this is without a doubt, like my least favorite hole here. Uh, forgot already what hole we're on. I think this one is like, hole 14, which would then make it hole five here. Sorry, brain fart. Um, when I signed up for this, this is mostly pitch and putt. Everything's pretty birdieable, um, but I have these two discs. Have to give them a try. I'm just gonna see how this hatchet does. I'm gonna put on a little bit of a hyzer. The hatchet I have is super flippy, but it is an air one. So there's not really a place to run here. So I'm just gonna see if I put this on a little hyzer, if it'll turn and then we'll try that underworld. I did not put enough on that hatchet, but I liked kind of the line that it was going. Let's see how this underworld works. <clears throat> Both of those are not ideal. So let's try something fun here, I guess, too. Um, let's see, I've got this anvil. I'm gonna throw it forehand. Just see how that does, because that's another play here. I just don't usually have the arm for it. <clears throat> I like the way that anvil fills off the hand forehand. Uh, still wasn't a great drive, but it was better than the other two. So let's go to the discs. So I'm not really sure. I might have thrown the anvil here, but since it's up there a few feet, um, I'm just going to try the harp out. This is kind of what is in my bag for this type of shot. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, once again, this is where the hatchet landed. I think if you can see that tree over there, uh, the underworld's probably like five, probably 10 feet to the right over there. <coughs> Pretty perfect harp shot there. Um, should be putting for par. All right, and we're putting here. I think we got oh, 10 feet. Ugh. My putting's been pretty awful. <laughs> Let's see if we can save the bogey. Cool. This is hole 15. Um, I'm not sure if I played here before and showed you on camera, but just a little ace run down there. I'm just going to throw both of these at it. Probably not even going to finish this hole. Just want to go for the ace run, see if I can get it on camera. First, we're starting off with the harp. That was not it, but we'll throw this gatekeeper. Once again, I didn't have a putter from this bag, so this is normally just a pigeon putt on a putter. Didn't get a great angle, but it's down there. So I'm running into a time crunch. And honestly, the, the reason I really came out here was just to try out all of these discs and see how they did. Um, but I'm gonna throw a few here. This is the last hole. This is 18, which plays as nine here. I'm gonna try all these drivers on like a hyzer line around that tree. And then I'm gonna try this gatekeeper straight at it and see, you know, just how these fly. <laughs> Thanks. The underworld went pretty good. Got around the tree, pretty much parked. Let's try this hatchet on the same line. <clears throat> kind of as intended. Uh, the hatchet did not hold on nearly as good, but we'll try the gatekeeper. Just one more straight up the gut and see how this one goes. Put that a little nose up. And as you can see, it rode the wind that came through. Um, I guess for funsies, we'll try the hatchet on the same line. See if that fights the wind a little bit better. Sorry, this is an anvil. <clears throat> I 
that anvil is a lot beefier than what I'm used to. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So kind of to the right, about five to 10 feet is where the uh, hatchet, the anvil and the gatekeeper, they were all kind of in a triangle. They were all about the same shot. Let's see if I can finish off this underworld with a bird here. Womp womp. Got a par. But as I kind of have been playing over the last few months, I feel like I've been getting a mental fatigue with my putting. It is like the best part of my game and the worst part of my game. Sometimes I'm making these putts from like 100 feet. Other times I'm not even getting 10 foot putts. So I want to know when you guys kind of get into that rhythm of having bad putts, what do you do? Um, any advice you have down in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Once again, I'm just trying to have fun here. So this isn't going to be the end of the world if I miss some putts here and there. But I think as anyone that's slightly competitive, it is good to kind of get in here and hopefully hope that you can start playing a little bit better. All right, so overall, pretty fun round. I didn't get to finish it just due to time constraints, but I wanted to go to all the holes that gave me some opportunities. I think that this uh, hatchet is kind of fun. Maybe it'll go into my bag as something cool. This gatekeeper, I really enjoyed it flew pretty straight. It doesn't fight the wind very good, but I think there's a chance that this could make a place in my bag. This anvil's beefy. Um, I'm not sure that it works for me, but you know, it's a glow one, I think. So this might make it into a glow bag because I don't have like a glow harp. Speaking of the harp, this one's sweet. I love this stamp. Um, I like it, you know, I have a harp in my bag. This isn't really that much different than any of them, but I'll probably still use this. Um, the Underworld, I like this plastic. I like the way this feels. This is probably going into my bag. Um, I think it's got some glide that I can use it to throw. Um, pretty nice. I think this one's going to fit in the bag and overall, you know, pretty good. So let me know. I've got the box when I opened it. I'll probably have that up here. If you haven't already checked that out, make sure you do. Let me know of all these discs. What was your favorite? What was your favorite throw? I did ask that question about the putting. I'd love to get some answers from everyone out there on what you do when you kind of control that. But as always, thank you for going on this disc golf journey with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Peace.